Depending on the design code and the system, SSD offers different tasks for design. For our slab, it has automatically created these. Design parameters of area elements, design ULS and design SLS. The task design parameters of area elements allows to define the parameters for each group separately. There are four different types of reinforcement. Two layers orthogonal, two layers, three layers and circular. The presetting is an orthogonal reinforcement with two layers. The direction and distance of the outer and inner reinforcement have to be defined here. The distance is measured from the center of the reinforcement. Settings for the reinforcement are mainly necessary for the design and serviceability limit state. You can specify the diameter of the reinforcement a minimum and maximum value. Finally, here with crack control, you can define a maximum crack width and steel stresses. If you want to define different parameters for any group, select New. Click in the area selection and choose the desired groups. Then define the new parameters. Because we only want to have an orthogonal reinforcement for further calculation, we are going to delete our changes. When done, leave the task with OK. The settings of this task are then available in the database for all following calculations. First, the design of the area elements in the ultimate limit state will be done. The table shows all load cases that might be used here. All load cases of the ultimate design combination are pre-selected. In column AM, all load cases are selected, which include area element forces for an area design with program BMS. In column AA, all load cases are selected, which include area element bedding and support forces. And column BE is for all load cases, including forces for a beam design with AQB. The shear reinforcement has to be defined on the next tab. The program will do a punching design. The banding reinforcement may not exceed 1.5% of the concrete cross-section area. Outside the punching area, the banding reinforcement is limited to 0.2% of the concrete cross-section area. The program attempts to avoid shear reinforcement but increases bending reinforcement up to this ratio. More information on punching design can be found in the Manual of BMS Chapter 2 Theoretical Principles. You can define more parameters for design on the tab Control Parameters. We don't have to make any changes here. If you want to know more about these, please refer to the manual of BMS and the design code. The tabs Text Output and Graphical Output are the same as you have seen before. Having checked all input, we can click OK and close the dialog to start the calculation. Secondly, 
The design of the area elements in the serviceability limit state will be done. The correct widths will be checked according to defined standards. As in ULS, all possible load cases are listed in the table. All load cases of the quasi-permanent combination are preselected here. The program offers two possibilities to limit crack widths. Either BMS checks the diameter of the reinforcement with tables of the design code, or you can manually enter a maximum value for the crack widths. The other tabs of this task are the same as the ones of the last task. We can use all presettings and start the design calculation by clicking OK. After the design of the area elements, we also have to design the T-beam. First, we are going to insert a new group into the task tree. Design Beams. Then we are adding the two corresponding tasks. Design ULS Beam. and design SLS beams. The design tasks for the beam elements are mostly self-explanatory. Thus we will use the option Calculate immediately by leaving the dialog with the OK button.